For many years I've dealt with a lot of chlorinated solvents, so that's probably what most of my sites are on. PCE and TCE from uh, degreasing operations, not, not dry cleaners. It's typically manufacturing operations, which is painting and degreasing. Although I have dealt with the BTEX compounds, um, other organics, and I do have a few metal sites. And I deal mostly with groundwater, although a little bit with soil, a little bit with vapor intrusion. Those compounds are all regulated, so they have cleanup standards, and those vary by state. Um, but perhaps they have to reach a drinking water standard in a state, otherwise they're in the state program and have ongoing responsibilities for remediation of the site. So they're looking to, to get rid of those responsibilities by cleaning up the site. Also for sales of a plant or a property, uh, if they can clean it up, then they can usually get a better price for it and they can get rid of some long-term liabilities. My favorite role is after there's been a remedial investigation done, which means that the plume in groundwater has been delineated, its, its length, its, its width, and its depth, and the formation that it's in and concentrations. And then I come in and help select a technology or a combination of technologies that can, that can clean up that groundwater. And that can be anything from a pump and treat system where we simply extract the water or soil vapor extraction where we extract vapors. Um, all the way to bioremediation. I've done a lot of bioremediation. I've done some phytoremediation. I've combined a lot of those technologies. So my niche is technology selection and then combining those technologies into a remedy, which may have multiple technologies in series or combined across the site. And then, of course, the design, the implementation, and the startup of those remedies. So as an engineer, that's, that's my role um, as far as the remediation process goes.